In a number of my instructional videos that I've made over the years, I've uh, demonstrated using Dreamweaver and now uh, to try and help those people who are not using Dreamweaver but who might be using expressions, I want to uh, make a series of videos that will show how to access similar parts of the interface. And so the first one we're going to do here is uh, what I call the pencil icon um, that brings up the dialog box for uh, working from within Dreamweaver. And I'll show you how to do that in an expression. So um, I've selected a part of my content here, and you'll notice that I have a, um, a, a HTML document and an attached CSS file here. And what this is doing is giving you access to the CSS. So I'm selecting in here, and then down here, this context-specific navigation. Uh, in Dreamweaver, I would pick on that, or click on that, and that would allow me access to this, um, what I always call the pencil icon. It's the edit rule. Um, dialog box and when I click on that it brings up this box and that box allows me to edit type background block um, box border etc 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 so it gives me access to all of the different elements that are available for that style and it's it's a tool that I use often um, because it allows me direct access to use a widget interface uh, instead of typing code now when we go to expression um, obviously it looks a little bit different but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into this um, again I have a style sheet with a or HTML document with a style sheet here I've clicked in a section and when I click in that section there's this uh, window over here the the manage styles window and I'll pull that out right now but uh, I'm gonna pull that back in there there's a series of these um, apply styles and manage styles that are useful win, uh, windows to be using within this environment and normally they're sitting here right beside each other okay. um, when I select into that wrapper that brings the context over here so this shows you all the things that are accessible uh, at the point where uh, you are working and you can see that as I'm clicking in different places here there's different um, styles and, and elements are coming up so it, it has a similar um, feature of being able to select the context so in this one up here the manage styles um, right now I'm inside of main body and you'll notice that in this apply styles button it's highlighted that now I can work from there and just choose uh, modify style and the modify style brings up the same uh, edit rule type box as you saw in the other one where you can affect font instead of type it's the same thing block background border and so it this is the same um, uh, dialog box and widget based interface as what is seen in the pencil so uh, that should help you to be better able to do some of the things that I'm demonstrating in those videos when I'm specifically talking about editing the rules for the CSS